Hey, I'm Juan Esteban Garcia, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to generate a permanent token that you can use with the WhatsApp API. As you have probably noticed, when you start using the API and you generate a token, the token that it gives you has a lifespan of 24 hours. And so that basically means that you have to renew it every single day. But with what I'm going to show you, you will be able to generate a token that you can use eternally. I mean, it's something that you can use permanently and you won't have to renew it every single day. So let's get started. Okay, so as you can see, I'm already here in my Facebook developers account and you see that I have here the list of apps that I have created. And we're going to focus on this one that says my test account was a PBIP. And you see uh, that here there is an associated business and this is just a test business that I created uh, for these videos. So if I right click on this link and I open it, you see that it takes me to the business settings page. And now if I click here where it says system users, you see that I actually have a, an admin system user. And for this video, I'm actually not going to create one. I'm just going to show you how to do it because I already have one and Facebook has a limit of one administrator user, but I'm still going to show you how to do it. So if I click here, I'm going to enter something like global user and for the role I'm going to pick admin so it's going to be an, an administrator and you see that it immediately tells me that this business has reached the maximum number of admin system user limit uh, I mean that's basically all you gotta do and once you do that I'm going to assume that this is the user that I just created so if I click here uh, on the user you see that I have the option to assign some assets to this account that I just created so I'm just going to click here where it says add assets. I'm going to go to apps and here I'm going here. It is going to show me the different apps that I have created for my business. I only have one. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to make sure that this user has full control. We want to be able to manage this app. I'm going to click here where it says save changes. You see that it shows me the app. Excellent. And well, that's basically all we got to do. Now we're just going to generate the token. I'm going to click here and you see that this user already has these two permissions, the WhatsApp business messaging permission and the WhatsApp business management permission. These are the two uh, that you need to check off here. I'm going to click here where it says generate token and uh, here's the token. It's as simple as that. I just need to use this accent token. And one thing that, that you should keep in mind is that, well, you see here that it says copy and save this token as it won't be stored at Facebook. So you are responsible for storing this token. So I suggest you to store it in, in a safe place. And you can use a password manager and simply add a secret for that. And well, in this case, I am going to copy it. And if I come here to WhatsApp apps, you see that, let me actually switch this to the English version. So you see that I'm here and I am going to replace this user token. I'm just going to put it here that's it and now let's see if it actually works so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna try to send myself a text message so hey how's it going let's see what happens and i can see here that i just received my text message so if i open it let's give this a try yeah you see that it's here hey how's it going so that basically concludes our video. As you can see, it's pretty easy to generate a permanent token. And I encourage you to do that because quite frankly, it's really annoying having to generate a new token every day when you're going to start testing the API. Thank you so much for your time. And don't forget to subscribe to your channel because I will be uploading more videos. And in case you haven't checked out the entire video list that I have about the WhatsApp API, check out the comment that I have below and you will be able to see all the different videos that we have recorded on this topic. Until the next time.